fam, it's your girl Tejan of Shanari and I'm back with another video and you guys I'm going to be sharing with y'all some of the new products that I went out and purchased as of recently and have created this fun look. So I was definitely going for a more spring vibe and I could not resist that yellow in the palette. So stick around if you are looking forward to some content like that and if you are new here, hey girl don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, join the family and if you already feeling my vibe. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up but without further ado let's get straight to the video okay guys i'm super excited to try this new brow product out it's by an influencer that i've been following for forever his name is jesus Ariola, and he has like a brow wax his brows are flawless every time y'all so i had to go support small business brand definitely check him out and this is how the packaging looks it slides right out um and he actually has some instructions so i'm gonna try it out right now he says to dampen the brush which i've just done and then dip it into the brow soap or brow groomer we're gonna try it on our left side first and he said to just go up okay yeah it is definitely sticking now like y'all can see like it is i'm like literally dragging now <laughs> And now we're going to go into our Revlon Color Stay Pencil. And as you can see, I didn't do this side because I want to see the difference, like the true difference in it. But this is a new product as well. But I, just, I featured it last time, I believe. Um, but yes, this is my new go-to brow pencil. So I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my gosh, I love it. What do you guys think? Because I love it. I'm in love. Okay, as you can see, I've done one eye off camera and I absolutely love it. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go into the Glam Light palette. This obviously is not new, but I need to tell y'all what I'm going to be using. I love this color story. It's just so freaking bomb. Um, but yeah, we're going to be using the yellow in this palette. And I'm also going to be using a small brand black owned. It's called Entice and I absolutely love it and appreciate you guys for sending me over your palette. And just really quickly, I want to share with you guys how this palette is set up. On the top is matte and the center is shimmers and then we even have glitter as the bottom so i absolutely love this i can see using this year round um so yeah like i said i'm going to be using a couple of the matte shades at the top to help me out with the blending of the yellow so let's go ahead and get started and you guys know i chose yellow because i just needed that that accent that like speaks to my melanin i absolutely love yellow yellow is actually my mother's favorite color and I have grown to love and enjoy it over the, the years. Um, but yeah, this is, it's just been calling my name, y'all, for like a while now. So now that it's warm outside, I have to wear yellow for eyeshadow. So. And now I'm going into that neutral brown. And I'm just going to put it on the outer portion of that yellow. Now I'm going to use a much smaller brush. And go into that black in the entice palette and just lightly tap it. And you see, that is all I did. And then I'm going to go back into our previous brush that we just used with that brown shade. And I'm literally like just blending it out. And now I'm going to go in with an angled brush, go back into that black and create one of those cute faux like liners. I've been seeing so many people use this for so long. And I don't think I've, if I have tried it, I haven't tried it enough. That is my thing, like. <laughs> now we're gonna go back into that black and just tap on that area just to make it more blended. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and get into our mascara. And I'm gonna be using the Revlon So Fierce Big Bad Lash. Um, this is one of their newer mascaras, so I have yet to use it and I'm super excited. It's definitely affordable. I love Revlon. I do like the brush on um, the applicator on this it does seem like it may clump up a little bit other than that I mean it is doing the job and it is definitely making my lashes stand out which is what your girl needs absolutely stunning I'm gonna put my falsies on last and so next you guys I know this isn't new to my channel but it's kind of fairly new to me so I'm gonna go in with my Milani fruit fetish setting spray and this is more like a refreshing so just to liven up my face even though I did my skincare everything I'm still using it 
don't forget girl that angle if y'all haven't seen my last video you need to go watch it <laughs> So I recently went to Sephora to pick up a few skincare products and y'all know like they let you try out new primers and stuff like that um, or they'll add little goodies into your bag. So one of the ladies there gave me the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. I'm just going to try this as one of my new products. So this reminds me of the e.l.f. putty primer in a sense but... It's just like one of those smoothing effects of that. It makes it feel like air, you know, which is pretty standard for primers. And for those of you who watched my last video when I said I returned this, I actually did and I got a different shade. This is in the shade Filter Rich 28 and this is the Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation from Morphe. I've seen some pretty good reviews about it. Even some of you guys in the comments were saying that this is a great product. I'm just going to pump some on the back of my hand. And already it looks very different from the last one. I'm just going to put it on my finger and just go ahead yeah, this looks like it could be more promising. I'm just going to be blending it out with my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. Okay, yeah. This is it, y'all. This is it. And this is like more of a natural foundation. Um, so I am going to pump it again. It's going to be another full squirt. I'm just putting it on areas where I want it to like have a better coverage. I think this is definitely way better than the last one. So I am satisfied with this. I like the coverage. It is very, like I said, medium to, to full coverage. So if you're looking for like full coverage, um, you're definitely going to have to build it up. And like I said, I just use two pumps. But yeah, I like it. And now I'm just going to go ahead and speed through this part because there's nothing new about this. And just so you guys know, I am using the Juvia's Place Iron Magic Concealer and the Uoma Dual Stick for contour. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend everything out. And I honestly, I need to pick up more liquid uh, blushes because I'm so into them. The one I'm using right now is from Rare Beauty. Um, but yeah, I love liquid blushes now. And I think I want something... A little bit more prominent you know now we're in the springtime I think I want something more pinkish playing in colors maybe like orange just to brighten it up but I love liquid blushes because you can do this like you can just go at it with your finger and you're good <laughs> and so now I'm about to just set my entire face and I'll be right back so now I'm just bronzing my skin with the benefit and i'm gonna take the beauty bakery snack rooney blush you guys know i tried this a couple of times before and it is definitely one of my newest favorite blushes to use so i think this will go perfect with the yellow and i'm just going to use a big fluffy brush to quickly wipe off all this excess powder and now i am going to go back into the eyes because we got to get this effect underneath the waterline. I'm going to use my LA Girl Ultimate Liner and this is my year round really um, liner. I love this. It just really makes my eyes pop especially in the waterline. And I think I'm just going to go in with that brown shade from the Entice palette and just stamp it in at the bottom. I am going to bring that black color in as well. And now I am going to go ahead and bring a little bit more color, which is this like, looks like a burnt orange shade. Um, and I'm just going to stamp that right on top of what I just did with the brown. And like I said, I am going to bring that black shade in just a tad right on the outer V, really just connecting it. Okay, so now let's go ahead and try out that mascara on our bottom lashes. Hopefully they wake up. They are here and not for one night only. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. Yes, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I love it. So Entice Cosmetics sent over some lashes as well. These are their Foxy lashes and these are definitely 
foxy like I love how separated they are um and still bold I love that and then they also sent over the exotic lashes 5d mink Ooh, and these are for the bold and the beautiful baby wow so I think I'm gonna go with the first ones and yeah let's see how those look on your girl yes yeah, so I absolutely love these lashes one they were super easy to apply and the one thing that I think made it easy is the fact that it has a thin strip. Y'all know like sometimes lashes have like the bulky strip and I don't know it's just like takes over your whole eye. Well this like makes it look really natural and yeah it just it, it fits my eye perfectly so I love that. And now we're getting into my favorite part, the lips. And of course you guys know about my newest product of lip liner and it's the Juvia's Place Luxe Lip Liner. Um, and it's in the shade Cola. So I absolutely love this. So of course we're gonna line our lips. Just goes on really, really smooth, you guys. I get so excited using this product. It's just, it's just a favorite, like y'all need it. And now I am going to be testing out the new Entice lip gloss. It's called their Posh Lip Gloss. Um, so I'm so grateful that they sent this over to me. And it looks like a nude shade. So you already know I absolutely love that. And I think it'll go perfect with this look as well. Oh yeah, this formula is it. Really smooth. I love it. It looks really, really pretty. Um, yeah, it did way better than I thought like it's really really smooth you guys the applicator is really small so you can get into like intricate areas if you want to um I would prefer a little bit bigger but there's nothing wrong with anything small because like I said you can get into those intricate little areas especially when you're going up you don't want to mess up your liner um but yeah I think it did really well with my liner and everything and yeah, so I will be right back to show y'all the absolute finished look. Okay, you guys, this is my finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this entire process as well as some of the new products that I picked up and shared with you all. Definitely leave me a comment down below on which items that you thought you could use in your bag as well as if you are new here, hey girl, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and give me a thumbs up if you was feeling my vibe the entire time. But until next time, you guys, love you. Bye.